Hey everybody. You know, I was thinking about talking about this and as crazy as it sounds, you can see the title up there. Everybody wants to know my thoughts on what's been going on lately in the WWE. Well, not everybody wants to know my thoughts, but I thought I'd give my thoughts. Um, Everybody has given the thoughts, so I thought I'd give mine. Uh, first of all, let me talk about, and you can probably see down there what I'm going to talk about a little bit. Let's talk about the newest heel turn, if you will, in the WWE, and that is out of the Divas division, that heel turn going to E. You know, everybody wants to know why WWE probably did that. And why deciding to go with Eve instead of somebody else? Well, here's what's funny about that. And this may sound strange, but as anybody probably knows by watching my videos, I've talked about a certain character in a comic book being turned into a robot and how that didn't make no sense and that there was no hints or anything beforehand in any of the issues before the incident, before that happened, to indicate that that was the direction they were going in. No hints whatsoever, nothing. And then it happened. You know, yeah, some people could probably watch this video and say, well, they had that silhouette and the question mark, but that could have been anything at the time. Even though pretty much we all figured out who and what it was going to be, again, again, it just came out of nowhere. This, however, with Eve in the WWE made a little bit more sense because you saw it was coming. You kind of got hints and glimpses of it last year when she lost the Divas title and they had that little backstage segment where she's telling Tamina and uh, I think Gail, who was with the company at the time, that all the Divas are out for themselves. And you kind of saw a glimpse and kind of, kind of a sneak peek, a glimpse, if you will, at a possible heel turn yet they didn't pull the trigger yet. And then, and then lately with the whole Zack Ryder deal, you pretty much had an idea that something may happen, but you didn't know what. And then when the whole situation with Kane came about, that's when you knew something was going to happen, and then especially the week before. So you kind of had a clue but it wasn't until the week before that you kind of had an idea of why this was all happening why all of a sudden Eve was being involved in the storyline. I'm sure, again, I'm sure a lot of people will say, well, when we saw Eve get involved in the storyline with Cain and John and Zach, that kind of gave us an idea of something, was not, something that she was going to turn heel, that something was going to happen and she was going to turn heel. That's true you pretty much saw that coming. But it wasn't, but you weren't 100% sure yet, right? Until the week before. So even though there was a glimpse and clue, sort of a glimpse, a sneak peek, if you will, at a possible Hilton the year before, you got sort of a confirmation that it was coming when this whole thing with Kane started to go down. So, and then if you watch the WWE.com exclusive, you kind of get the idea now. Now, does it make sense that they wanted to use Eve instead of someone like, say, Kelly Kelly? Of course it did. Because you've got to think of it this way. Rumors were, going, rumors were swirling about last year that one of the top babyface divas was going to go heel. Everybody assumed it was going to be Kelly Kelly, but nobody assumed it was going to be Eve. Now, like I said, you got a glimpse, sort of a hint, if you will, that she was going to be the one, but they never yet kind of pulled the trigger until just recently. So, unlike what we saw in a comic book, book which just came out of nowhere, even though you had a silhouette on a preview cover kind of indicating that what's going to happen, never in any of the issues leading up to that did you ever get a clue or a hint or even any idea that that was going to happen, that that character was going to go into robot mode for who knows how long. 
But here, as soon as you saw that she was involved with the whole Kane situation, you pretty much had an idea that she was going to go heal. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, ever since Zack started associating with Eve, you pretty much knew she was going to go heal. No, you didn't. You didn't know that. You didn't know that until she started getting involved with the whole Kane situation. Only then did you start to realize something was up. And then especially after the week before, on Raw, when she kissed John Cena the way she did, that right there clued you in that something was that she was going to go heal. And guess what? She did. Now apparently, one of the questions a lot of people are asking is, with the upcoming house shows, how are they supposed to work around that, seeing as though she's scheduled to face Beth for the title? Well, one of the house shows recently in Los Angeles, she didn't compete. No, she didn't compete not once. All she did was come out, cut a heel promo, and that was it. And the person that took her place was Brie Bella. Brie Bella, one of the Bella twins, who, believe it or not, had like a look of shock on her face on Raw. So could we be seeing a Bella twins face turn? Maybe, maybe not, but seeing as though Eve's now a heel, it might make sense. Might, I should say. Anyway, how's this going to work out for Eve? Well, there's a few ways they can go with Eve here. One, she will be a heel, but who does she feud with? Well, the more logical sense would be she's probably going to start out with Kelly Kelly. Seeing as though her and Kelly were BFFs, she might as well be the best logical place to start. But how would it start? Well, obviously, it'll probably start with jealousy, right? Maybe she'll come out and say something like it should have been her on the Maximum magazine and Kelly took it away from her. And maybe down the line she'll involve Beth in, the whole, in a feud. And who knows, with Beth, that'll turn Beth face again, right? And why would it turn Beth faith, uh, face? Maybe because she'll blame Beth for taking her title shot against Kelly at Hell in the Cell? Maybe, who knows? But there's many possibilities, believe it or not. And that's why to me, this is a good thing for Eve. I mean, if you want to do a comparison, I was just listening to the uh, to a clip from the O Show podcast in which they had Trish Stratus in as a guest, or on as a guest. And when you look at Trish Stratus, if someone would have told you when Trish debuted back in late 99 and into 2000, or very late 99 and mostly in 2000, if someone would have told you the first day you saw Trish Stratus that she was going to go on to be the greatest diva of all time and a seven-time women's champion, no one would have believed you. No one would have believed you. And yet, here you are. All right. And yet, here you are, here you go. Trish Stratus, seven-time women's champion, Hall of Fame first ballot, no doubt about it. Now, how does that work out for Eve? How does that relate to Eve? Well, Eve, just like Trish, kind of started out differently. No one probably thought she'd ever be Divas Champion. Look what happened. She was Divas Champion. Twice. So what does that mean? Does that mean this whole heel turn is to help elevate her to the, to the position of becoming a seven-time Divas Champion, maybe eight-time Divas Champion? Or at least the only Diva to win the Divas title more times than any? Probably. There's so many possibilities this could go with. But the way you got to start with it, though, is you got to start out with Eve feuding with somebody in the Divas division. And me, in my honest opinion, the most likely choice would have to be Kelly Kelly. Yeah, we haven't seen Kelly in a while. since. I mean, she's been here and there, but we haven't really seen her that much. But I'm pretty sure when she ever she returns, Kelly is going to be the first one she feuds with. Maybe she'll start out with Alicia at first, then she'll go to Kelly, but that's about it. It, and then she'll probably go to Beth, which could turn Beth face. I'm not saying it would, but it would make sense if you think about it. If they're trying to push Eve to that next level as being the next Trish Stratus or the next Lita, if you will. Not technically, res not wrestling technical wise, but more of a character wise. Now, speaking of other developments news, 
some other news going on in WWE. Apparently, we are going to have a hell, uh, Triple H and Undertaker 3 at Mania. The only thing is, it's going to be Hell in a Cell. Which kind of tells me this could be it for Taker. Now, yes, there's no doubt, hopefully, they're going to book him to win. And if they do, which they should, he's going to go out on top as the greatest Hell in a Cell competitor, as well as go out on top 20 and 0. This is indeed his last match. Now, the question a lot of people have is, how exactly are they going to even get to sell there? Believe me, if they could, believe me, they could figure something out. They will figure something out, believe me. They probably already have something in mind. They wouldn't be adding the idea of doing Hell in the Cell at Mania between these two if they didn't have something already in mind. Now, the thing is, is it going to be good or is it going to be bad? I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I think we're going to have a knockout drag out affair. I think they're going to go outside the cell, and I wouldn't be surprised if they go on top of the cell if they want to take it to that level to finish this error, if you will, once and for all. So, my thoughts are, despite how people may feel about it, I think we're going to have a decent, if not probably one of the greatest Hell in the Cell matches in history, but then again, that's just my opinion. Other development other developing news probably relating to Wrestlemania well a lot of people are saying we're probably going to have Laronitis against Teddy Long no rumor going around, news source going around is we're going to have Team Long against Team Laronitis in other words you're going to have a team representing John Laronitis which is going to be consisting of heels and a team consisting of baby faces representing Teddy Long now depending on which direction they go with with this whole storyline is totally up to WWE creative but we'll just have to see what happens but that's the news going out from there now apparently we also have possibly an intercontinental championship match in the making between Big Show and Cody Rhodes for Mania that could be what happens I mean why are they doing this with Cody Rhodes and Big Show right now oh with this whole Wrestlemania embarrassment moments makes you wonder right And, um, and, and there's rumor going around that they're going to have a Divas match. But the thing is, a creative feels as though they don't want to have a Divas match on the show because it might take away from the rest of the show, oh, take away momentum, if you will, basically decrease the momentum. But then again, they still might have it, so that's kind of up in the air. Either it'll be on the show or it'll be a pre-dark match. You know what I'm saying? Um... And as far as the championship matches go, I guess WWE is letting Sheamus and Daniel Bryan have theirs to make up for not having the U.S. title match on TV last year. So that kind of helps out. I just hope it's not the opening match, but it probably will be. And as far as Jericho and Punk goes, I'd have to say that's going to be a great match. If I'm WWE, I add in the stipulation of 30-minute Iron Man match. A best in the world Iron Man match for 30 minutes to see who is the best. That's what I would add in as a stipulation. Now, do I think it will be a Money in the Bank match? Not really sure yet. But that, but my thoughts are, I have to agree with what a lot of people are saying. This looks like it's going to be one of the greatest WrestleManias in history. From on paper, it looks like it right now. Visually, we've got another five weeks to find out if that's going to become a reality. But that's my thoughts on what's going on in the WWE right now. So comment down below, video response if you like, and I'll talk to you later.